Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to verify a given number is neon number or not. To write this program, first you need to know what is a neon number. A neon number is a number where the sum of the digits of a square of the number is equal to the number. Okay, this definition may be a little bit confusing for you. Let me make it simple. A neon number is a number where the sum of the digits of the square of the number it should be equal to the number. What is the meaning is that? Let me take with a simple example. Let me take a number as 9. Okay, let me write number is equal to 9. I will compute the square. Okay, let me compute the square. Square of 9 is how much? 81. So this is what first step you need to do. First you need to identify the square of the original number. Then what they said, where the sum of the individual digits, you can write if you are confusing, sum of the individual digits of the square. So what are the individual digits of the square, which is 8, and then you have the 1. Now what they are asking, compute the sum of the individual digits. So sum is equal to 8 plus 1, which is equal to 9. Now if the sum is equal to equal to original number, then you can say it is a neon number. Otherwise, you can say it is not a neon number. Let me take one more example. Let me take 8. Okay, 8 is my number. For 8, what I need to do? First, I need to compute the square, which is equal to 64. Now, next step, what I need to do? I need to find the individual digits, which is 6 and 4. Compute the sum. Okay, so sum is equal to 6 plus 4, which is equal to 10. Now, next step, what you need to do? You need to verify whether sum is equal to equal to original number or not. What is the sum? You got 10. What is the original number? 8. Is 10 is equal to 8? False. So, I can say it is not a neon number. So, like this, you need to verify. So, what are the steps in this program is, first step is you need to compute the square of the original number. Compute the square of the original number or the number. Okay, the step 2 is what? You need to find the individual digits of the square. Find the individual digits of the square. Then what is the next step? The next step is compute the Compute the sum of individual digits, individual, individual digits in the square. Okay, then compare, compare the sum with number. If both are equal, if both are equal, print neon number else print not a neon number so this is the task you need to do okay so first we need to compute the square of the original number then identify the individual digits of the square compute the sum of the individual digits in the square and compare the sum with the number if both are equal we need to print it as a neon number else we need to print it as a not a neon number so now what i will do i will write a program to perform this task first what i need to do i need to ask the user to enter the number so number is equal to int then you need to use the input method and ask the user to enter the number and you know that if you want to read anything from the user in python we need to use the input method and the input method will return everything in the form of a string. But I want it as a number. So that's why I'm doing the type casting or type conversion using the int method. Then what I need to do, I need to compute the square. So square is equal to, you can write a number into number or you can use the power operator, number power 2 or you can write number into number. In place of this number power 2, you can write number into number also. This is also possible. If you are using some other programming language like C, C++, Java, then you can use number is equal to number, in, square is equal to number into number. 
then what i need to do next step i need to identify the individual digits so i will write square not equal to 0 then what i will do i will write rem is equal to square modulus 10 okay then i will write sum is equal to sum plus rem so i need to initialize the sum value with 0 then what i need to do i need to write square is equal to square floor division 10 okay then you will write if sum is equal to is equal to the given number i can say print number is a neon number okay whatever the number you are taken from the user that you are printing it so print you can say number is not a neon number now what i will do let me execute this program okay let me run it so first what i will give i will give the number as 9 just now theoretically we have proved that 9 is a neon number does our program is giving the similar output or not we will verify see we got the 9 as a neon number now let me verify for some other number let this time let me enter 81 okay see 81 is not a neon number how you can compute the 81 square and find the digits of the individual digits okay. 81 square is 6561 okay which is 6561 so what are the individual digits in this case 6 plus 5 plus 6 plus 1 because the individual digits are 6 5 6 1 i'm computing the sum of the individual digits so 6 plus 5 is 11 11 plus 6 is 17 17 plus 1 is 18 so total sum is 18 which is not equal to 81 so i can say that it is not a neon number okay now let me discuss this program with an example so that you will understand how i have done suppose let me take the number is equal to 9 so user has entered the number as 9 that value is been stored in a variable called number now what you are doing square is equal to number power 2 so square will get the value as square will get the value as 81 okay then what you are doing in here making sum is equal to 0 so you are taking a variable called sum and you are initializing the value as 0 then what is the while loop you have written with a condition called sum not equal uh, sorry square not equal to 0 so this is the condition you need to verify what is the square value 81 81 not equal to 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true the statements which are there in the a while loop will be executed what is the first statement rem is equal to square modulus 10 what is the square value 81 81 modulus 10 you know that a modulus operator will give you the reminder 81 modulus 10 will give you the reminder as 1 so that 1 will be stored in the variable called rem then what you need to do you need to compute the sum is equal to sum plus rem okay what is the sum value 0 what is the rem value 1 so you know that 0 plus 1 is 1 and you are assigning that 1 to the variable called sum so now sum is having the value 1 then what you are doing square is equal to square floor division 10 what is the square value 81 81 floor division 10 will give you the quotient what is the quotient value if you perform the 81 floor division 10 the quotient value will be 8 okay so that you are assigning to the variable called square so square will have the value 8 right now then all the steps in the while loop are done then again the control will go to the condition verification what is the condition square not equal to 0 what is the square value right now 8 8 not equal to 0 yes the condition is true if the condition is true again the statements will be executed rem is equal to square modulus 10 what is the square value right now 8 8 modulus 10 will give you the reminder as 8 that 8 you are storing in the variable called rem then what is the next step you are doing sum is equal to sum plus rem the sum is currently having the value 1 
and REM is having a value 8. So 1 plus 8 is 9. So that will be assigned to the sum variable. Then what you are doing, sum is equal to sum floor division 10. Oh, sorry, square is equal to square floor division 10. What is the square value? 8. 8 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 0. Okay, that you are assigning to the square. So square is having the value 0. Then all the steps in the while loop are done, again the control will go to the condition. What is the condition? Square not equal to 0. What is the square value? 0. 0 not equal to 0? No, 0 is equal to 0. So the condition is false. If the while loop condition is false, the statements which are there in the while loop will not be executed. The next statement after the while loop will be executed. What is the next statement? You have a if condition. So, first you need to verify the condition. What is the condition? Sum is equal to is equal to number. What is the sum value? 9 is equal to is equal to number. What is the number is having the value? 9. So, is 9 is equal to 9? Yes, the condition is true. So, if the condition is true, the statements which are there in the if block will be executed. If the condition is false, the statements which are there in the else block will be executed. In this example, as the condition is true, the statement which is there in the if block will be executed. Number is a neon number. What is the value you are having in the number 9? So, and comma will act as a separator and whatever you have written within the double quotes, you will get as an output. So, that's why you got output as 9 is a neon number. If you want to verify, let me run the program and give the input as 9. We got the output as 9 is a neon number. I hope you have understood what is a neon number, how to write this program in Python to verify a given number is neon number or not. You can use the same logic to write the program in other programming languages such as C, C++, Java, etc. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.